Hi everyone. Today I would like to just quickly show you one of the new features that is now available on MetaVision. Most people have commented that with the daily GCSs and the admission form that often it is hard to remember which ones are due and would like to have some form of a one-stop uh, dashboard basically that gives them a, a list of to-dos. Now while we've been, there are many different reasons why this has been a problem. One of our uh, ultra smart programmers uh, within the project has come up with a solution uh, which will hopefully help you get, get uh, your, your charting done and uh, make the system more useful for you. The new functionality is found in the patient list. So in order to find it, you need to select first the patient drop-down menu up in the uh, upper uh, left-hand side and then select patient list uh, as you can see here. This will display the patient list for whichever unit you are currently logged into. As you can see, there is now a new column for MD missing data. Within that column are a list of all of the deficient uh, charts that need to be completed and are indicated by first the GCS, as you can see here, or the admission form, as you can see indicated here. If there are no deficiencies for a specific patient, then the word none will be displayed and you don't have to worry about that patient. One of the nice features of the patient list is the ability to uh, sort each of the columns um, in either uh, ascending or descending um, order. So if you're looking for all of the uh, charts that have deficient uh, deficiencies, uh, then you can just simply click on the MD missing data uh, text and it acts just like a sort feature which will allow you to display in alphabetical order all of the deficient charts listed as you could see here. Or if you're looking for the ch charts that are def that you are uh, that are that are yours to complete uh, you can double click on the attending form and it will sort the um, uh, all of the all of the uh, patients in the list uh, by alphabetically by attendings and then you can just simply use the scroll bar to find your name and then you can see a list of all of the uh, charts that you need to complete as always when you are when you find a patient that you want to uh, you want to complete um, you can just double click on it and it will open that file for you and allow you to uh, to go to the uh, form that you need to fill in to complete it. And that's all there is to it. Uh, hopefully people will find this uh, new functionality helpful and uh, useful and increase their their um, uh, efficiencies with uh, eCritical. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or uh, comments, please feel free to, uh, to email me or drop me a short note. Thanks.